were just getting ready to say that if Lou ever figured out what was happening to him, that he'd be able to handle it. <laughs> Lo and behold, he does. Well, let's let uh, Eddie Flick make it official. A time, 13 minutes and 25 seconds, with a reverse body press, the winner of the first ball, Lou Fair. So there you have it. The first ball goes to Fez. Uh, Uncle Hunt Schmidt is over here in the corner fuming like a wet stick of punk. Meanwhile, let's hear from the boss, huh? Get back in your corner, Fido. And what are we calling at this stage of the game? Bowser? Something. I don't know. It's uh, in a long, long time. He has the same rearward uh, profile, that is, from the shoulders up as the... Uh, Old Nikita. But in the front, he's altogether different. Go ahead, stop him, Lou. You got my permission. And the crowd. Well, if you came to fight, bring your gloves. <laughs> Lou loses his temper, and when he does, he knows how to lose it. You can bank on that. <laughs> Hans is afraid of an invitation. An arm bar extended. With a wrist lock added. Hans tried to whip but didn't make it. Now he's got a hammer lock. Tell you what, Lou, uh, you ought to handicap uh, Hans a little bit here and shave your head too, huh? Either that or we'll award you a football helmet from last year's Browns game. Still a hammer lock, and Hans has added a Japanese wrist lock here, as you can see. He has wanted this rematch with Fez for a long, long time. And believe you me, he's got blood in his eye and dandruff in his mustache tonight. He really wants to win. for you, Herr Schmidt. You have no slouch on your hands here. You have nothing but the best of the best. Him. 
I think we ought to give Hans a middle name, Cider. He tries to make cider out of your Adam's apple. like last season's Sputnik. This official. Time six minutes and thirty seconds. The winner of the second fall with a reverse backdrop, Tom Smith. What are you doing? Uh, counting fingers here, Hans? Well, while you're doing that, uh, we'll have a word from the boss, huh? By Novak, uh, there's the whistle, 10 seconds, he says. He's known amongst the wrestlers as one of the toughest referees in Illinois. He's an ex-wrestler, an ex-boxer, there's the bell, and away we go. Now let's see what happens. It's the fall of peace. Hans is trying to take advantage of the damage he's done, regardless of... Look at this Novak bulldoze in around. This boy Novak is a stash from the west side of Chicago who apparently knows no fear. He wades into the biggest of them. Flying there. Knee drop on the throat. Another flying mare, another knee drop. Wait a minute, two, one, two, three, and the count is on Schmidt, he doesn't know it. He'll find out in a minute. His shoulders were flat and Lou had his up. Watch this, he'll blow his stack. Oh, oh, oh. Lou says, Wins over Hans Schmidt. Now get away. Go in there, ladies and gentlemen. Lou Fair. So there you go. Russ Davis ringside. Two minutes. Chicago. <laughs> Those of you driving, please drive carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Get home safely. Thank you. 